Hi everyone and thanks for joining me today. I thought I would um, try and do a little bit more of my journal. I'm not really getting very far at the moment. I'm just so busy with so many other things that, <coughs> excuse me, I probably bit off more than I can chew. Now, um, I still have so much more to do in this um, journal, but when I was sorting out some stuff the other day, <coughs> I found this book and um, a magazine that I had picked up because I knew that obviously I was getting married and I would want to do a journal um, one day. So I just wanted to show you how we can incorporate things from books um, into our journals. So obviously it's to do with wedding and getting married. So I picked up this wedding flower book from um, a charity shop and I just thought I could incorporate some of these images and pages into um, into the journal because look at these gorgeous dresses and oh, just gorgeous. So let's, I haven't got that much colour in my journal so let's have a look through. I've ripped out some of these pages already. Um, okay let's have a look what we're going to do i want a couple now i thought that this image here i could use as a tuck spot or a tag or something so um i tell you what let's put the pages we're going to use to one side so i want to use that one um so let's just put that there i quite like that image as well or maybe that one not sure maybe use that um this is a page that i've already um took out and then folded in half because I liked the bouquet so I'm going to use that as a page um not that one. Oh, and here I have a couple of other pages that I have already um that one's quite pretty actually look so I think I'm going to use that one and that one because I've got two signatures I only really need <clears throat> um, two because I don't want to fill the journal out too much but let's have a quick look and see that's very pretty look um, but don't forget I'll be doing my wedding journal when I get back so <clears throat> excuse me <coughs> oh my goodness me right so let's pop that over there let's have a quick quick flick through um, this this is wedding flowers magazine and see if there is anything in here that we can use. That's quite cute. I quite like that. <gasps> Look at this posy here. That's quite pretty. So let's rip this out. And I thought, look, there's things like shoes and, and things. So let's have a quick look through and see what we can um, use out of here. I like this one as well. Do I like that better than the other one? Let's keep those. Oh look, the bra and knickers. Um, how funny is that? Shoes, cake, mm, no. I won't use those. Oh, come on, Chanel. Um, then I really need to get on and make the pages better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, look at that posy. Okay, let's rip that one out. Um, aren't these beautiful dresses? Oh my God, goodness me. Now, I have to let you into a little secret. Okay, now, you see this dress here? this one here mine is very very similar in the cut mine does have a train and my top is a bit different from there but that's basically similar to my dress but mine has got bling on here but it's very similar so look giving you a little sneak peek um into my dress so it's champagne gold it is gorgeous. Oh, it's another nice bouquet, isn't it? Probably too big. Uh, that bird cage is lovely. Let's try and get that out without ripping it too much. Right, 
we might have enough now we're nearly done anyway oh these bouquets are stunning oh look at this one aren't they gorgeous 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 so a lot of um people ask me how do i get inspiration for things and basically if i know that i've got um a project to do i just look out for books and things and anything oh see that's lovely look at that i might actually right let's have a look at what we have got here so love that bird cage bird cage is cute i also like that bouquet oh my goodness me now i've got completely sidetracked what did i like that for the bouquet didn't i um what did i like that one for oh that picture right i think i oh, don't know now chanel you're getting all confused all confused probably got too many bouquets love that one though i wonder if that will look lovely as a page instead of one of the other ones let's have a look that is quite pretty isn't it actually i'm going to use that as a page so we need to cut these down i've forgotten what the measurements were of these pages so let me bring in my guillotine and oh, goodness me what have i done now i want that one let's just measure these pages because i have completely forgotten um four and oh four and three quarters by six and a half so the six and a half is fine so what i'm going to do is let's just cut this down first Good channel. It's not very um oh my gosh, why did I say it was six and a half, didn't I? So we can go just a bit less actually. It does not matter. And it was four and three quarters. So we're gonna go under by one. And we may have to look at that. See that is stunning now. <gasps> look at that page. I love it. Where's my other pages gone? My other ones I was going to use. Um, I think I'm going to use this floral one here because that's much more prettier. Um, so it's six and a half, wasn't it? We'll just get this rose in a bit better. And this is a lot less. A lot shorter so it doesn't matter though so six and a half and look at that we have this beautiful um rose image right so those are the two pages let's get rid of this rubbish um i'm not sure now if i use that one we'll leave that one out of the equation for a minute now let's bring in oh my gosh, the two um, oh, that's not stuck down very good is it Chanel right let's just glue this down a bit better oh that glue stick has really dried up it's gone really horrible to use me blue one right these are the pages now where do we need a little bit of colour I want that one in the first bit so maybe here look how pretty that is oh my gosh love it love it love it so we have a nice um, pretty page is what I call it a pretty page maybe we could break that one up or that one there with this one so that goes was it that way and we're going to pop that in there so that gives us another page i know it's sort of being sidetracked etc so let's bring these in again i want to definitely cut out this one here OK, 
cake is going to be nothing like this because we've only got um, 12 adults and 4 children. So we are going to have, if they can do it, a pavlova um, wedding cake. Because oh, Charmin absolutely loves pavlova, so do I. Actually, the whole family love pavlova. So um, that's what we're hoping to do. Right, so we have that image there. Oh, do you know what? I just threw that on the floor and completely missed all together. Mm, I'll leave that one for now. Right, so we have a wedding cake. I think I like that posy better. So we'll put that one to one side. And all I'm going to do is just fussy cut around this okay and then we're just gonna let's see if we can incorporate this into one of our pages So you can basically turn anything into your junk journal. Trust me, I do it all the time. Right, let's try and fussy cut this a little bit better. Oh, I totally messed that one up, never mind. Right, so we have a bouquet. I don't need that one, do we now? Um, that is too big, I think, to use the bird cage. Um, let's cut it out and then let's see if we can use this somehow. Not so sure. We'll have to see. Sometimes you just need to see it on the natural page um, to actually see if you can make it work. Right, let's just I hate having all this paper in my way. Let's see if I can hit the bin this time. I got a bigger bin because I'm forever filling it up. I found lots and lots of bits and pieces um, to go in my journals, this one and the one I'm going to do when I get back and I'll show you some of the things as we go along. I've got three weeks today, um, we go, I don't know if that's going to look a bit daft, um, I'm not so sure about the bird cage, to be honest with you, so we have those two anyway. Um, <clears throat> Now, do I want to turn this into a pocket, maybe? Let's have a look. Right, that's the second part of the book, isn't it? Uh, let's put something in here. Let's have a look. See, what I want to do, I kind of want... This I'm not is quite uninteresting, so... I'm wondering if I cut that down a little bit. Or what I could do is stick it on the page there and have it as a tuck spot here. But the only worry is that this is a bit thin. So I tell you what, let's do it on something a bit. Tell you what, we're going to do. Oh, I don't like that picture actually. Oh, wow. Right, like that we're going to cover her up. So, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on here and turn this into a pocket here. So, let's take this page out. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. Oh, dear me. 
Right, okay, I want to cover this because I don't like it very much. So I'm going to get some um, coffee dyed paper or something just to cover this up. Oh, right. Let's just... Just going to rip that. Um, that's the bit that opens so I just want to we could put that on there where's that bit maybe that one does that look better let's have a look oh it looks rather grungy doesn't it <laughs> quite like that right okay and then we just need another bit for this end because I just didn't cut it um, long enough so it doesn't matter because it's going to be behind the image anyway so we could put that on there and that on there we did that the hard way and then we're going to put that on there and I think what I'll do is I'm going to sew it and I'm going to put maybe um, a bit of trim or something down here what do you think I think that sounds good. Right, let me get my old book, which we use as our glue book, as um, Gail uses for, look is that, um, Gail, Ag Og I can never pronounce her surname, I'm so sorry, Gail Agus Agostinelli, um, she has a book and she uses it as a glue book, so I thought I will start one right now. Okay, let's just tear this paper because it's going to annoy me. Oh, look. See, never throw something away. Look at that colour of this. Ooh, that's handy. See, never throw anything away. I love that. We can use that. That we can chuck in the bin. Or we can maybe use that bit. I'm not bothered. I've got so many. Right, what we're going to do is glue this. Now where did I put my glue stick? It was behind me a bit of paper, look. So, I'm going to stick this down. Let's do this first bit first. Like that. And then we're just going to... Glue that on there, like so, Oops. and then I've just got to go and glue this behind here. Like that, it's a bit sticky now, and then I need to get my Distress Ink. I'm just going to distress this around the edge. That's oh, a bit sticky now. I'm going to put too much glue on Chanel. I'm sure that will be fine. And then I'm going to glue and distress this and what I might do is just um, that's going to be on here and what we're going to do is make that as a pocket we're going to sew around that around three um, sides there but I think what I'm going to do oh, I don't know I quite like that just as it is actually that's quite pretty isn't that 
and then shall I do a little um, bit there? Right, let's get my little hole punch. And I'm going to eyeball the centre. Oh, it wasn't perfect. Oh, look, messed that one up, didn't I? I really ding-batted that, didn't I? Oh, my goodness me. I messed it up. I messed it up. I tell you what, I'm going to cut it down just a little bit because I went and boobied it. Oh, right, we now have a smaller pocket, everybody. I'm so sorry. That does not matter, though. Right, this time I'm going <laughs> to do it right. Oh, my goodness me. Chanel. Six and a bit, so three and a bit just there. Gonna get it right this time. There you go. <laughs> Still looks off, but never mind. Right, so that's ready for there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and sew it quickly and I will be straight back. Right, okay, so we have made, look, a lovely um, little pocket there. So that is really cool. Now, I do want to cover her over because she's not um, really what I want. And I just want some writing space in this um, on these pages. So what I'm going to do is just... And then what I can do is I'm going to do some stamping later on on some of these pages and some stencils as well. But we'll do all that together. Um, oh, look, hang on a minute. I need to just... We'll just stick that down there, I think. Let me bring my glue book back in and I'll just cover this in glue because I want lots of writing space in this journal. that we can do some stamping later on on that um but i'm happy with that i just love that and it's made use of an old um look at that that is just gorgeous i love that now i need to look i don't like that one so what if we just cover that over i don't even know why i actually used this um so let's what am I doing? What am I doing? In fact, I'm going to try and eyeball this. I'm going to eyeball it. My eyeballing is not very good, I will tell you. <laughs> It's pants. Right, okay. So I think we're going to decorate this a little bit and put something lovely on it. Now, I did find some stickers, some lovely um, roses. I found these. I think they're stickers. What are these stickers? Let's have a look. So I thought we could do something 
fun with that. Would the bouquet look nice on that? Actually, let's get some music paper and let's have a look what we can do with this. I've got a great big Never find what you want when you want it, can you? I've got quite a big bin of oh gosh there. I have music paper, I have um ledger paper, I have lots of bits and pieces here, so let's take this off there. And firstly let's just distress the edges because it's too Right. Actually, it's funny because you don't realise when you do a journal. I, I notice it more when I film it because obviously I know by the length of the videos how long it actually takes to, oh, you know, make the journals. And actually, you know, it does take a bit of time, but. It's worth it in the end, trust me, when you've got something that you can keep and love and treasure. Um, it is definitely, definitely well worth spending the time doing it. My problem is I left it till the last minute, really. So I should have done this sooner. sure on using that at the moment um something missing something missing what's missing chanel what's missing i need to do something else with this what can i do what can i do doesn't quite look right um let me think let me think I like it, but there's something, maybe some lace or something, let's have a look. No. No, 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 don't know what's going on here. Right. Um, could we make that into a little tuck spot? Um, maybe. So if we put that and that behind. And you don't really see the flowers. What if we did it? It looks better, doesn't it? I don't know, there's something not quite right with this. Should I pick another bouquet? Right, I quite like this lace on here, so I'm going to cut this anyway. Ready. Um, oh, you know, sometimes you just get a bit of a brain moment and... Let's have a look and see if there's another bouquet we can use here that might look better. Nope, nope, and nope. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. Uh. Oh, I don't know. The more I look at it, the more I like it. I'm just not sure. There's something missing. I don't know what. I don't know what. Um, let's have a look on that. Oh, 
know if that was just by itself. No, I don't know. I can't make my mind up about that. And I quite like it. I quite like it. But, um, oh, God. Chanel, why is this so hard? Sometimes it is so easy. And sometimes you think, oh, it just doesn't look right. What if? Do you know what? I think it's the green. Let's try this. And then I could maybe put a bow on there. Oh, that might work. Tell you what we do. See, sometimes you just clicks. It just clicks. What I'm going to do is this. Right, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it, everyone. The penny just dropped. Do you know sometimes my brain just does not work as I want it to. I've got it now. What I'm going to do is I'm then going to put a bow on it. So we're just going to pop this down there. We're going to glue this down. Oops, just ripped it. After all that, doesn't matter because I didn't rip it right off. Let's stick that down there. Like that, move this out of the way. Right. Thing is, I've got to find my bows now. <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute. Right, so we're going to put this on here and I'm actually going to sew it um, if I can um, and maybe make it, should I make it a little, little tuck spot? Yes, we'll make it a tuck spot and then we're right on the bows. Uh, yep. Um, do I have any little bows here? Oh, look at that. There you go. Is that going to be too... Oh, that's not flat enough, is it? I think that one would be better because it's flatter. Whereas that's quite raised. Um, so I'm going to put that one on, I think. I just hope it doesn't get knocked off in the journal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew um, around the edge of this. Let's have a look here. And we'll sew the lace on and then I shall glue that on and I shall come back. Okay, I am back. So I have sewn all the way around. So I've now made a little tuck spot pocket um, there. So what I'm going to do, we don't need them. Um, oh my goodness me. Right. Oh my gosh, I'll just knock that down. And all I'm going to do is just glue that to there. And then we are good to go. We've made another page. I think we're nearly done. We might have to do something on this other side so i'm just going to put this um put fabric tack down because it is um sticky and sets faster and i just love it and because it's a little bit heavier because we've put fabric and things on it i just want to make sure it's not going to go anywhere so Look at that. It's just got to put a little bit of glue under here because it's coming up. But look at that. So we've done um, that side, which, oh, it's so lovely. I might put a little bit of lace or something across there, actually. Um, all I've got to do is probably just cover this. So I think what I'll do is I shall get some... Uh, What have I got handy? We don't want capitalism, do we? Chuck that in the bin. <laughs> oh, we don't want that. We don't want that, Chanel. I think 
think maybe we will use some grid paper and I've also got these printed out words um, so I think I'm going to use one of those somehow on there as well so what I need to do give me some lined paper as well so that means I won't go out of the lines oh, like I normally do Just want, oh my gosh, that is totally not straight, Chanel. Okay. That's better. Right, let's just do that there. And then I just need to come in here. My tearing skills are not very good today, are they? Right. <laughs> oh, gosh. We could save that bit for another um, page. Oh, my goodness. Right. Let's distress these ends. And again, I'll come back and stamp some of these or stencil just to... Um, make them a bit more interesting and maybe find some gorgeous words to put on them as well so let's bring that in and just glue this now which way we're we going make sure I don't mess up we're going that way or that way that way so we need to glue Oops. This will crinkly this page. This was from an old, um, just, uh, you know, diary, day-to-day -day diary. I never used it. Um, so I thought, right, I'm going to take the pages out and um, coffee dye them. There you go. Now... What, pay, what should we have? Let's have a look on this. Celebrate. That would be a good one, wouldn't it? Now, the only trouble is I haven't left much space in between. So I'm going to have to cut it out. These are just some. Um, it was coffee dyed paper and I just... Um, Printed some words out. I'm going to have to. How about celebrate um, today? those on that oops there keep those in case we need them for something else look at these lovely tags and um, we are getting married save the date well i just thought that would be a great um tag for actually well, um, i've got sidetracked you know look <laughs> these were just some they were from paper chase i think or somewhere like that and i really cool and look there's right in space on the back so that is definitely going in the journal somewhere I wanted to just ink these up and we'll stick these down and then we've got another um, page done in the journal we're getting there and we've also got 
some pockets in this one so um i did want some pockets but i didn't want too many because i don't want to bulk it out so we're going to have celebrate today i'm going to stick these down and then i think i deserve a cup of coffee i am going to get there i am going to get this done oh no didn't put enough glue on it Then it's all getting stuck to my fingers and don't forget once we've got some stamping done or some stenciling that will also bring those pages up a bit more so that's what I've done for today <laughs> oh my gosh right um, where are my pages for my book right so look at what we finished um, we have a wedding cake and a pocket we need something to go in there and i think i have something oh my gosh where are all my bits right these are oh gosh look let me just show you these are bits and pieces that i am saving for the journal so i don't know if i'll use that but i did find some lovely um, writing paper so I'm going to put one of them in there as well so I'll do that in a minute I found a love card which we could um, it's got a message um, that I put to Tony and sent him my darling Tony I did win the lottery when I met you love you Chanel so I'm going to put that in and use this as writing space in fact why don't we have that <gasps> look like that that sorted right okay so let's put these aside for one minute um we will come back to all this in the next episode otherwise i'm going to get sidetracked charlie has just probably woken up so what i'm going to do let me distress this that's got a lovely message there so what i might do is so I've got a bit of writing space and it's not brown. Hello, Tars. You just woken up. I think I will stick that down. It's very crinkly, but I quite like that. Where's my glue book, Charles? No, Charles, not now. Let Mummy just do this bit, sweetheart, because Mummy needs to finish what she is doing. Oh, come on, off the table just for a minute. Right, okay, let's just glue this down. He's going to start wrecking the table now. <laughs> when i'm doing my journals um there's always so much stuff on the table that he's never got much room so look at that and then what i shall do i just realized i found this die cut that i had that's too big for that. We'll use that in another one. Right, so we will um, stamp this or something. But for now, we do have something to go in the pocket. And it's sentimental because I've written a message in there. And then what we're going to do is put this in here. I can't remember where it goes. So we're just going to put this here. Oh, look at that. We have a lovely um booklet how cute is this and we've used an old book and just look at that it's really starting to take form now i love it <clears throat> i actually love that i might i don't know to use that as the front page of the journal you see i do chop and change actually because i just think look wouldn't that be lovely for the second half of the signature? I'm going to switch and I'm going to do that because I love it. I really think that has turned out cute. So <clears throat> that is today's 
episode of my um, honeymoon junk journal. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it will inspire you to get some books out and um, start doing some journals. So I'm going to put one of these pages in as well because I think that they are really cute. It's just, oh, hang on, let's do it. This way, is that right? So that's another two pages for the, right, pack it in. Uh, how about there? So that's another page for the journals. And I'm going to put that one in this half. And you, mister, are now getting in my way. I don't care that they're not in the same sort of order. So today we have put in some extra pages um, that we've took from book pages. Um, colourful pages we've put a writing piece of writing paper and we have made a gorgeous front pocket for the second half of the journal oh I'm getting excited now right okay I'm going to definitely go and have a cup of tea as I have been doing this for 45 minutes I hope this has inspired you um, to you know start doing junk journals and showing you how easy it actually can be so i hope you've enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you all very soon take care bye bye